It's your boy Y F N three one seven. You already know what it is, man. I'm looking rough this morning, but it's okay because I gotta get this message out to you. Now this is my third or fourth attempt trying to get this message out to you, but uh, my daughter was, you know, asking me questions. I had to stop. My wife called. I had to stop. It's just, it's just a lot of things trying to stop me from getting this message to you. But hopefully this time, I can deliver it. So, what is our plan going forward, man? I don't know what y'all plan is. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not even going to try to act like one. What I am going to do is tell you, you need to be planning ahead, though. You need to be thinking ahead, especially, well, no, it don't matter what you're doing. I, matter of fact, you need to be planning ahead, period. Because let's say you make $20 million off this play, right? You make $20 million off this play. Congratulations, that's beautiful. But then you're going to, what, buy a Lambo, buy a car, or buy a house, buy jewelry, buy shoes, probably buy another house, probably buy another car. These are the things you're gonna be doing, and which is your decision, right? $20 million, you got it, right? But then, you know, 10 years from now, your $20 million is now, you know, eight, 10, 15, right? No, probably eight, you know, with inflation and you spending money like it, like it's nothing, you know what I mean? So now your ten your twenty million turns into eight million. And you're thinking, okay, it's eight million, it's time to buckle down, right? But ten years of bad habits then caught up to you. You still got the bad habits, you know what I'm saying? Probably taking out loans off your house and now you got real life expenses, more money, more problems, right? What are you gonna do then when boom, the dollar shit? You know, and you're just sitting there on eight million worth of USD. But then now, because the dollar goes to shit, your eight million is now seven, six, five. It can literally get ugly that quick. And, and to be honest with you, if we think about it, if this happens to be the largest wealth transfer from the wealthiest to the middle and lower class, this happens to even the playing field in some type of way. Don't you think they have an evil plan to get it right back to where it was? Most people in our position are going to take their attendees, run to the bank, right? And that's it. That's where the line stops. And it's like, That is how they're going to get back and even the playing field. Once you put your money into the bank, and that's when the line stops, that's when they come changing shit up. We, we got a new game, new rules. And this USD, it don't apply here. And what you gonna do? Nothing, there's nothing you can do. But take it on the chin. So make sure you have a plan. Make sure you have a plan to move that around. I don't know where I, uh, hey, again, not a financial advisor. Make sure you have a plan to move that around. If you don't, you're gonna get caught up in their reversal, if you will. You know how the stock goes up and it has a reversal, goes down and has a reversal. You watch, if we get some money in the middle and lower class, you watch the reversal. But that's it for this video, man. It's your boy, Wyoming317. Wow.